you, uh, Inspector. <clears throat> yeah, thank you for coming. Um, I'm Detective Inspector Brett Featherby from Major Crime Investigation Branch. I'm here to provide an update in relation to the murder of Robert Atkins. Robert was reported missing in January of this year by his mother when his mother came, became concerned after she hadn't seen him for two months. <coughs> Excuse me. The police investigation to date has now identified that Robert has been murdered. We're aware that Robert was involved in low-level uh, drug dealing in the southern suburbs. We're also aware that um, prior to his death, he was detained at a premises at Manda Road at Christie's Downs for a period of four to seven days. Post him being held at that premises for four to seven days, we're now aware that he actually attended a premises at Helliard Avenue, or Helliard Crescent, sorry, at Seaford. We can also tell you that on the 6th of, 16th of November, we believe that Robert was murdered at Port Pirie or in the vicinity of Port Pirie. On that date, his body was also disposed of. Major crime with the assistance of Forensic Response Section have now searched a number of premises. We've searched a premises at Manda Road on the 22nd of July and the 2nd of August. On the 28th of July this year, we searched a rural property at Boobarawi. And on the 31, 31st of July, we searched and forensically examined a premises at Halyard Crescent at Seaford. Detailed forensic examination has occurred at each of those premises, and we're confident that that forensic examination will advance the, advance the investigation. Further, investi further exhibits are being analysed and further forensic testing will take place in relation to what was seized from those premises. We're aware that between the 15th and the 16th of November 2020 that Robert has travelled through Adelaide, through to Boobarawi and then subsequently Port Piri on the 16th of November where he was murdered and his remains were disposed of. We're seeking information today in relation to two vehicles that we're aware he has either travelled in and or were involved in uh, his murder and use in the disposal of his body. One of those vehicles is a 2010 black Jeep Cherokee, South Australian registration, S556AJE. That Jeep Cherokee was photographed returning to Adelaide at Williston South at about 8.51pm on the 16th of November. We know that that vehicle was stolen from a Millswood premises in late August or early September last year and it was later seized by police on the 3rd of December at Mawson Lakes. We're also seeking information in relation to a 2008 Silver Nissan Pathfinder, South Australian registration, BB744S. We've seized that vehicle on the 15th of July at Boobarawi. We are aware that during that period that both of those vehicles have been used with false number plates from time to time. They've had the correct registrations at times, but also they have had incorrect number plates affixed to those. <clears throat> Both of those vehicles have been subjected to forensic testing. The results are looking promising, and um, we believe that those results will further advance this investigation. We're currently going through a process to narrow down the search area in the vicinity of Port Pirie. Once that is done, an extensive search will be conducted in that area for Robert's remains. To date, we've received excellent public support. There's been 20 calls to Crime Stoppers, and that information has been invaluable to progress the investigation. <clears throat> We're aware that there are more than one suspect in this matter. To be unlawfully detained in the nature that Robert has, we're aware there are a number of persons involved in both his unlawful detention and his subsequent murder at Port Piri. We're aware that in offences of this nature, also that when such a number of people are involved, people will come forward and they will assist the police investigation. Today we're seeking to identify the occupants of the Jeep Cherokee. As I said, its registration is S556AJE, and also the occupants of the Nissan Pathfinder, BB744S. Specifically, we're seeking witnesses in relation to those two vehicles that may have seen them between the 15th and 16th of November in the area of Boobarawi, in the vicinity of Port Pirie or in Port Pirie itself, and also any other areas in the mid-north South Australia between those dates. Further, we're seeking to any witnesses that may have seen either of those vehicles 
in early November 2020 around Halyard Crescent at Seaford and also Manda Road at Christie's Downs. We've formed a fairly good background now in relation to Robert's background. We're aware he's involved in that drug scene and we're seeking further persons to come forward that have knowledge of his murder in that, in that area, in particular the southern suburbs of South Australia. <clears throat> we're also seeking anyone that has any information of events leading up to Robert's death um, in early November at both Halyard Crescent Seaford and Manda Road at Christie's Downs. As said, for the family, we encourage anyone to come forward so they can give closure to the family um, in this, to assist and support the family in these tragic circumstances of Robert's death. I'll now take any questions. Okay, what we can say is um, to date he was held for four to seven days at the Christie's Down address. We know he was there for some period. We know he was violently assaulted and held against his will. He has then been moved at some stage to the premises at Seaford and we now know that between the 15th and the 16th of November he's travelled through Boobarawi through to Port Pirie where he was, he was murdered on that date on the 16th. But I won't say further what's occurred at the Seaford address. How was he murdered? I won't comment on that at this stage. It may prejudice the investigation. Do you know how he was transported? He was in the cold he bound on the way up there? Do you know any of that information? Uh, to prevent prejudicing the investigation, we won't comment on that at this stage. Uh, you mentioned that you're looking for several people in relation to this. Do you have a sort of idea of how many people that you're looking for? It's clear to us that Robert was held against his will, as I stated. To be able to do that, history shows us that it can't be done by one person. We are aware that there are a number of persons involved in his unlawful detention and his subsequent murder, and we have more than two people, three people that we're looking at. It's a group of people. Is there a specific person that you're investigating? Um, this is not related to bikies at all. Was he moved from different cars? Was, do you believe he was moved from car to car? Or um, what we can, yeah, it's difficult to say, but we do know that both of those vehicles he has been in, and that's why we're seeking witnesses in those areas to identify the occupants of those vehicles between the 15th and the 16th. It may be that he's transported in one and moved to another, um, and we're still working through that. And the number of people in those cars, you said you're looking for occupants. Do you think there was more than one? Like, did you look for a group of people in, in these cars? There may be more than one occupant. We can't tell you how many. Does my mind Is that information that you've received from crime stoppers, you've lost, or, or from interviews that you've done with, with people? How have you sort of pieced that time on? Okay, um, we have an experienced team of investigators working on that. They've identified he has been murdered, and as a result of that investigation, um, as I said, we've received excellent public support, and we're continuing to build on the picture prior to and after his death. Um, yeah, we are confident that he has been murdered in the vicinity or thereabouts of Port Pirie and that his body has been disposed of in that area. Um, we're in the process of narrowing down search areas to obviously it's a large rural area. Once we narrow down those search areas we will undertake an extensive search to locate Robert's remains. Do you have a, a murder scene in Port Pirie which is on your address or a I won't comment on that. Okay, any other questions about the gentleman? Thank you. Um, <clears throat> it'd be horrific. If you're being held against your will, you're being assaulted and unlawfully detained and subsequently murdered, I couldn't imagine the fear that would be going through somebody's mind. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.